All right, guys. Well, today we've got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, the concrete guys, for some reason, came in and tore down all the silt fence. That silt fence was all up the other day. It was all the way up and around the corner. They had to put their, uh, their uh, forms in for the sidewalk. And you can see how they always tear stuff up. You would think that if you're going to cut in that sidewalk and that's where you're going to put it, you would think you would cut that material off so I don't have to come in and cut that material off against fresh concrete. Oh no, let's not do that. Uh, whenever I do this type of stuff with Brian or for Brian, we always, we always grade up to the forms and whatnot. Um, anyways, but this is where I brush hog the other day. Hopefully I'll get that video up before... Um, you know before this one type of thing but i brush hogged the backyard it was really tall weeds it looked horrible um we're gonna try to hit that yard today i'm gonna go ahead and cut grade before before they get concrete in there and try to get everything graded out nice to where that that concrete company they don't strip their forms so there's no reason to to expect them to strip the forms i refuse to strip forms anymore it's not my job and i I know that's a bad way to be, but it is what it is. The other two we have is this is our basement that we, uh, I think you guys have seen this a couple times. We need to get it backfilled um, so the plumbers can get in and rough in the plumbing. I'm probably, if I run out of dirt, I'm not going to worry about this side. I'm really, I'm probably not going to worry about the ramp. Um, I'm mainly going to get this dirt and concrete and stuff like that. We'll keep the 2x4s out, obviously, but uh, concrete and all that can go in as fill. We're going to concentrate on this corner and get around the foundation, try to get it backfilled, um, at least so the plumbers can get in and rough in the basement. And then we have this house to do. This was a cleanup that we did. I don't know if I got a video done for it or not, but... Uh, got a bunch of dirt in the front that i think came from the approach and the sidewalks flat workers again um i can probably use some of it because i don't think i need it all up there i can use some of it for over here so we'll uh and i think this was pier was this a pier job uh it's got a lot of pads in it it's probably a pier job so they're uh i don't know i assume he's gonna fill it up with gravel I guess I need to call and ask because if if he's going to fill it up with dirt, we need to throw dirt over that when I'm when I'm backfilling. But up up past my truck, not at that lot, but the lot up there, you see a bunch of dirt. Hopefully, you can see it up there. Um, I can kind of see it in the camera. It's up around that area. There's another basement there we're going to dig, but we've got a lot of dirt from this lot up there. So we'll have to wait until my buddy can get in here with the 953 looks like he's going to be locked up uh the rest of this week but i'm going to try to get it roughed in and then when he's digging that basement up there obviously we'll get it backfilled get the garage box done and all that so anyways that's the task at hand let's quit talking let's get to work would be 
all the time for uh, you know cleaning off sidewalks and stuff is you can you can tip the cutting edge down to the uh, to the sidewalk. And I was watching that line. Sorry. Um, you can tip, you know, kind of like this. You can go up to the sidewalk, kind of hover over the sidewalk, and then I can back drag dirt off the sidewalk. It's a little hard to do with a tooth bucket. Not a lot of room here. I'm glad I got this house next to us to work in. If not, it would really not be all that great. But, uh, let me know if you guys use serrated cutting edges. I've got my dealer. This is a uh, John Deere bucket. I bought it from my John Deere dealer. They made me a pretty good deal, so I bought it instead of a Granco or Land Pride or whatever. And I really don't use it much. The only time I use it is if I need to clean off the sidewalks and half the time I don't even take it with me. I just get out and rake it. Because um, I you know, obviously can't get it with my tooth bucket as well. And I, I use a spoon bucket to uh, load my salt bin. I know that sounds silly, but and then I use it to load salt in the winter. Uh, just because I can go into my I can go into my uh, shipping container where I store my salt. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can look back on my on my channel, look at my videos. I put my salt in a shipping container and it stays dry all the time. It works really good for me. Take it in there. I pull it right out of a dump truck, and I literally load it right in there with a uh, with a skid loader and a spoon bucket. And then when I load out, obviously I use my skid loader and a spoon bucket.
figure we do just a quick little walk around so i've got a majority of that or well i've got all that cut down and kind of graded up to their form boards uh try not to get extremely overzealous with that stuff i don't want to make the form board kind of go like this and then it's my fault they got a wavy sidewalk but um i got the sidewalk up here backfilled at least on this side and kind of got grade cut all that there's a storm box there that's why there's a dip in the ground you might not be able to tell that anyways but We'll go down and look down here. Kind of ran out of dirt. Um, I have more dirt, like I said, up the street, but we're not trucking dirt with a with a skid loader bucket. Uh, I don't have my trailer ready yet for the dump truck. And even if I did, I don't want to track up there, load a couple loads, come down here, dump a couple loads, and then have to bring the skid loader back down. It'd be right if I had something up there loading me. Uh, wouldn't be horrible at all, but I did not get anything done on this side. Like I said, ran out of dirt. Um, I did get the front yard. We'll look at it up here. Got the front yard cut down, but this big pile of dirt's gone. It is now up here in the corner. I figured they may throw gravel over the corner or over this side for the rough end for the plumbing. Um, got this kind of kind of set not really i'm not real happy with that window well right there but everything falls off of it um didn't really do much back here like i said ran out of dirt i did cut this down back here um got some of that backfilled again ran out of dirt <laughs> um i still need to I need to figure out what they're going to do with this, but I can't, I don't want to grade close to that until they get that concrete on that, uh, on that, uh, uh, yard box in there. They're going to pour concrete on that. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that backyard and I'm going to cut that over there and then have this corner fall here. So then that way, no matter what I do over here, we're good. Um, you know, obviously I need to backfill that backfill some more of this um this is just a mess right here how would you like to have that in your backyard and it looks like whoever was back here doing stuff they kind of dug it up and cleaned it out well they threw a bunch of sticks and dirt back here and it was not me that was not from me i back drug everything back here got it on video i think but anyways uh let's go look at the front yard you want to go look at the front yard of course you do let's go look at the front yard on the other side and then i gotta tell this guy across the street that'll have concrete in the sidewalk tomorrow he was worried that they forgot about him because they poured sidewalk over here water mains across the street they had to cut the sidewalk out but i got this front yard roughed in we're still not ready to do much up here but when I bring the excavator up, I'll push that dirt in there and grade it off, but just kind of rough the yard in. I need to come and raise the uh, sewer clean out. Not quite, not quite high enough, but way better than what it was. There were a bunch of piles of dirt and it looked horrible up there, but that's about it for today. See you guys.